Um, so then, uh, do you have any any tips that surface that we can share with people out there who would love to become a writer, particularly in the music industry, let's say? Yeah, actually, um, I, I just think the first thing is to write, to, to absolutely and constantly write, even if you are not in in a in a position where your pieces are going to be published or at least published for a large scale audience um there is there is no substitute for just being in the paint and just writing all the time it will you'll you'll subconsciously start ironing out all these different issues your flow will will improve um and now there are really a lot of tools they're they're sort of in their infancy but there are a lot of tools that can help you um get a mirror to your writing and figure out um, if sentence structures are, are going to connect quickly, um, it, it gives you a sense of, you know, if you're putting something out there and you're publishing, you can get a sense for what types of styles or what what writing habits or topics connect the best. So yeah, just just writing is is absolutely essential, <laughs> nonstop. Yeah, I agree, and that this is my tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not that I'm promoting drinking, everyone out there. Yeah. But just settle down. Um, Ashley, what about you? Did you want to like add to um, Sort of building on what Paul was saying, uh, practicing writing is important, but you should also practice writing in the right voice for communicating online because people online want to read active voice. They don't want to feel like they're being told a story or they weren't uh, reading something that is happening right now. So being really be sure that you're using active voice as much as you can in your writing while you're developing that skill is really very important about in any industry where you're writing online. 